Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, this is the task at hand, and by the looks of it, it's going to be an angry one. Oh yes, I did just touch that with my bare hand, and no, I'm not doing that for fun. There's a reason behind that. What I'm doing is checking to see if there may be fluid in that joint, up in that heel bulb area. I'm also feeling the temperature, trying to see if, if there's a lot of heat there. That could mean that, that that infection has worked up into that heel, and that could be problematic. In this case, we don't have to worry about that. Now, obviously, there is a problem here, and that's what we're going to uncover now. Have you guys noticed the size of that dew claw yet? Yeah, that thing is massive. We're gonna talk about that at the end of the video. All right, for those of you wondering, what do I think of the new shoot? Well, after week one, I hated it. You gotta realize for the last 20 years with my old shoot, I had the hydraulics, the handles for the hydraulics were in a certain spot, my grinder was in a certain spot, my knives were in a certain spot, and the muscle memory was all programmed for that old shoot. With this new shoot, I had to relearn all of that, and it was not fun. Now, after two weeks in, I love this thing. Trimming has become fun again. I can pick up feet with ease. My, I'm learning where everything is now and I can, I'm getting my flow back and I'm really enjoying the new shoot. And now back to this foot. Where have we seen this before? You bet. It's going to connect all the way to the top. This heel bulb area, that too is loose. So we're going to remove from that spot all of this area. Another one of the changes with this new shoot is the positioning of this front foot and where I can work on it. There's not as much room for me to maneuver between the fender of my shoot and this foot like there used to be, but I'm getting that figured out as well. Now let's take in, let's zoom in on this foot and be able to see exactly where that exposed corium is. And at this point, I'm thinking that's the only issue, but as you're about to see, there's much more than meets the eye. Did you notice that indecision there, that hesitation? That's what I'm talking about when I'm learning the new ways to trim with this new shoot, new camera angles as well. I have to be able to position myself and work around that. Like I said, I'm figuring that out. I'm getting some new ideas and some new camera positions. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it once I get it all figured out. Be patient with me the next couple of weeks as I figure that out, but I think it's gonna be an improvement over time. The more I remove, the more problems I uncover. 
not only do we have this spot here, but as we zoom in, we've got another spot right down here of digital dermatitis. As we move up toward that heel bulb, there's another area of disturbance here, and we're not done yet. This case is a prime example of the inefficiencies of the cow's natural ability to try to heal these lesions on their own. What, what they do, what that normally happens, is they release that sole to try to create some open space there, to try to get that irritation away from this particular spot. But what that does is creates a perfect environment for bacteria to flourish. The bacteria that cause digital dermatitis are anaerobic. That area up underneath that false sole is a perfect spot to colonize and create a big area of disturbance here. So what we need to do, we need to provide oxygen, put oxygen back on this, and that's what we do by removing this loose horn. We're not only creating some space for that lesion to heal, but we're also exposing that bacteria to the open air, and we're also gonna be able to apply treatment directly to that to kill those bacteria, get that corium back to its healthy state so we can fill this area back in with horn. Now, the horn itself does not heal. It needs to produce new horn to fill this in. And that's what we're doing here. We're creating an environment in which that corium can do its job efficiently once again. Now that we've got this area all cleaned up, you can see all the little pockets and all the little areas of colonization here. And now we're gonna apply the salicylic acid to clean all of that up. That's gonna kill that bacteria, get that corium back to that healthy state that we were talking about earlier. Oh yeah, remember that giant dew claw? Well, it's not really the dew claw. It's just residue on that dew claw. We'll get that cleaned off. It's gonna make her a little bit lighter leaving the shoot today. All right guys, from 976 and myself, as always, thanks for watching and we will see you all on the next one.